All right, we're on to example two. And we've got Ben who receives $1,450 for a 38-hour week. And Charlie who earns $36.50 per hour and works 40 hours every week. So question A says, who receives the higher weekly pay? So we already know what Ben's receiving. Ben gets $1,450 per week. And then we got to look at Charlie. Charlie, we just know what he gets per hour. So he gets $36.50 per hour and he works 40 hours. So we're just going to multiply that. 36.50 times 40 hours. So he gets $1,460. All right, so Charlie gets more pay. When you get questions like this, you should finish with a sentence. Charlie ha has a higher weekly pay. Alright. Now, question B says, who has a better hourly rate of pay? So we know that Charlie gets $36.50 per hour. So we know Charlie's hourly rate of pay, but we don't know Ben's. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, well, Ben gets, we know he gets $1,450 per week. And because he works 38 hours in a week, we're going to divide by 38. All right. 1450 divide 38 equals. Um, and I'm getting 38. I'm going to round it. $38.16. So even though Charlie gets more in a week, uh, Ben has a better hourly rate of pay.